because of the location of the psoas and the iliacus, they affect a lot of things when they're tight. When there's tension in the psoas, it pulls on the spine. As you can see right here, it's connected to the side of the spine. Now, if there's an asymmetry where one side is tighter than the other, that can pull on this side of the spine. So you can imagine if it was pulling in this direction or this direction, it would create kind of a side bending motion in the spine itself. And also it would create a rotation. That can be the start of scoliosis. When there's also tension in the iliacus, that will pull the pelvic bone forward, causing an anterior rotation, which again will cause a pulling forward and a rotation in the lumbar spine because all of these are connected. So oftentimes the development of scoliosis is related to muscle tension. Now there's the chicken or the egg phenomenon as always, that tension in these muscles can also develop as a result of a structural issue with scoliosis, for example. So it's really important if you are dealing with a minor or even a significant severe scoliosis to be addressing these muscles, not only for pain relief and symptom management, but for a corrective purpose. Um, I have seen in practice where releasing the tension in this muscle creates almost an immediate before and after um, difference in the curve, a scoliotic curve in the spine. So, um, and the best method to do this is to either have a practitioner work on you by putting prolonged pressure on the psoas and the iliacus in the front of your abdomen or using a tool like the hip hook or the hip flexor release ball to really get in there. 